Hey guys, we're finally in Japan. Tonight we are in Shinjuku exploring and trying to get something to eat. Japanese 7 Eleven. I see you. Bonds. This is a small one though. The original. This is my favorite section in the world. Look. This one doesn't have really good ones. I am blown away. How about you? It's exactly what I see on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that right, green tea stuff. Enjoy myself now. So this is our first time at Ichidan. How you work this? I don't know what I just did, but I got something. And fill out your sheets. This is no pork broth. Get water. And you call them. And you put this. Hi. And so. And then mix this up. So good. So good. Best ramen I've ever had. Right? Huh? What? Best ramen? Uh, yes, in Japan, because it's the first thing I've ever tasted here, so <laughs> no competition. Beautiful morning, Shinjuku. What time is it right now? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yes, sir. Oh, I'd like to go to 7 uh, Eleven, have some breakfast, early breakfast. Next journey brings us to Family Mart. Next one, This is what I want. It's right here. These are really good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get a bun. Found it? Yes, sir. Alrighty, you found the mask. How much is it? 380? Dude. Here's my section. Yes, more sanwiches. Much panigiri. Nice coffee drinks, sushi rolls. Let's check it out one by one. Adventure of uh, the day. We're at the train station now. It's hot. It's super hot. We are in Japan and we are walking towards this, sh this shrine. Meiji Shrine. Okay. So we're in Yoyogi Park right now and walking towards Meiji Shrine. What is it known for? It's known for their uh, temple. This is one of the oldest temples in Tokyo. And how long is the walk? And how old is it? What is it known for? Tokyo. And how long is the walk? And how old is it? What is it known for? It's not, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to follow them until I figure out where it is. Okay. It's like in the middle of the park, so everybody's probably walking towards there. Yeah. Okay, go. Well, stay tuned. Bye. Apparently the water here is sacred. Good luck to wash your hands here at the Meiji Temple. Oh wow. So, Where did the water come from? We have to uh, rinse your hands and mouth before praying. Set your mind at ease. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
Now you're gonna get your left hand, wash your left hand. My left hand? Wash yeah. Oh, sorry. And then? And then you get another, uh, fill it up and uh, rinse your right hand. Okay. And then you pour it into your left hand and rinse your mouth. And now, put the dipper back in its original position. So it is sacred. Try it, try it, Rod. It gets sacred. Uh, Meiji Shrine. In the middle of your yogi park, very sacred ground. A lot of people, as you can see. Perform their rituals, their prayer rituals. Let's go up these steps. See there. Throwing the coin in, bowing twice. Oh, first. Now we're at the Sensoji Temple. The two gods are in each gate. The god of thunder and the god of uh, fire, I think. I'm not sure. I'll fact check later. Beautiful temple. A lot of people here. Very tourist heavy. That right there is Nakamusa Street. So, fact check myself. Thunder God and Wind God. So, there we go. So, what does this thing represent? That's what goes Japanese lanterns. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here we are, Nakamise Streets. Asakusa, Nakamise Shopping Street. Very cool. And right there in the distance, Sun Soji Temple. Wow. Super cool, right? Yeah. Tell me how you're feeling right now. What's going through your head? It's like super cool, but then at the same time, we were try walking. To, try not to walk. We're walking to a very sacred place, so it makes me kind of question. No, so back then, the history of this place, this is where the like main part of the city was back mm -hmm. then. And uh, the emperor or whomever used to be over there, and this used to be like the downtown of you know the city so these were all like shops before but they have a lot of cool things like oh i kind of like that uh, yeah so now we're in line to try this famous lemon pond with uh ice cream inside so listen, look at that giant lemon pond right there uh, they have one with sukiyaki, which is the beef. That's pretty interesting. 
I'm gonna get the one with these. Giant melon farm. <laughs> yep, so now we have the melon pan with ice cream inside. Mm -hmm. Now, I think uh, we get me and Rod's first bite reaction. Okay, so, melon pan with ice cream. Let me know how it tastes. Hey guys, how does it mm. taste? Mm. Good. Pretty good. The ice cream is really good too. Any other adjectives? Scrumptious? Oishi, oishi, oishi. <laughs> oh. Ah! I'm gonna take this home. <laughs> hey man, you're gonna kill it. You wanna join my farm? Okay, so like, what? Is it vanilla what? ice cream? Is it vanilla ice cream or like what? I have what? no idea. Okay, How, what look, does it taste like? Good. I'm very bad at adjectives, but this is very, uh, it's very uh, toasty on the outside. It's uh, covered with a little sugar. So it's called melon pan, but it has nothing to do with a melon. It just mm -hmm. looks like a melon, but it's just bread. It looks bread. like a pineapple. Yeah. So this, the, you know, it's, it's hard on the exterior, and then the ice cold ice cream just melts in your mouth. Very good. Almost there. I, it goes to reason that to reach a place where God resides, there's many temptations. Wow, how, just how deep and poetic. You're many bringing me poetic justice. That's what you're doing. There's so many things. Pretty. We must. We are taking photos. Very nice. One eternity later. We made it to the temple. Finally. destination which is Amelia Yokocho which also means Ameyoko or Megua which means American in what language? Chinese oh, yeah. yeah it's it's derived from there so yeah this is where I believe Americans used to settle during I guess the World War II times but <laughs> Can you see that? Right now we are at 
Tokyo Station and we're on our way to Kyoto. This whole area is gift shops. Gift shops everywhere. 